New questions tonight about who should be on the ballot for U.S. Senate. Democrats are questioning whether some of the signatures collected for the Green Party to qualify for the election are actually legitimate. After a statewide effort, the Green Party says it submitted more than the 13,865 signatures needed to be on the fall ballot in the North Carolina U.S. Senate race. Since then, the Michigan Elections Bureau has removed five of ten gubernatorial candidates after they found invalid petition signatures in that state. One of the companies facing questions in Michigan was also contracted by the North Carolina Green Party to help gather signatures as well. Matthew Ho is the likely Green Party Senate nominee. Do you feel 100% confident that every signature that was approved by county boards of elections is a valid signature on the petition to place the Green Party on the ballot? I, I do. I do. The, the counties took months to go through these signatures, uh, and the State Board of Election has had uh, 30 days or almost 30 days uh, to review these, and uh, there has been nothing that has been validated that has been disproved, that has been shown to be fraudulent or incorrect or uh, not authentic. However, the Democratic Senate Campaign Committee is raising questions, telling CBS 17, since the North Carolina Green Party hired a petition gathering firm with a documented record of committing fraud, we're reaching out to voters to ensure they have not been deceived. Ho says the party did hire first choice contracting to gather 2,000 signatures. So in a month's time, they collected 50 signatures. And um, at that point, we said, you know, thank you very much, but we're not going to continue on with you. Uh, the contract was ended. Uh, they refunded the money in full to us. And that's the last of it with first choice for us. The State Board of Elections told CBS 17 the State Board is aware of the Green Party's connection with first choice and reviewing irregularities on the petition sheets as it routinely does to ensure signatures provided toward recognition of the Green Party are valid. Thursday, the board is scheduled to decide whether to recognize the Green Party for the fall ballot, which is dependent on the signatures. Ho believes the effort by another party isn't about him. This is not about keeping Matt Ho off the ballot. This is not about keeping the North Carolina Green Party off the ballot. This is about keeping issues that working families depend upon, life and death issues for working families. And Liz, I have reached out to First Choice Contracting for comment. So far, I have not yet heard back from them.